So this week, AGS released a letter to the community. This letter felt like a freaking Christmas gift, dude. It was insane. Like, there was so much hopium packed in this goddamn letter. You think streamers are getting paid to cover this. Like, it's crazy. Some of the changes included in this letter, like, Western Loss Arc is getting it before KR is. Surprisingly, it's not the first time this has happened. The Carl nerfs were implemented in NA first and then patched into KR eventually. And we've, we've been getting a lot of the quality of life that KR has and we're getting it a lot sooner than we thought. So at this point, quality of life no longer applies to like small little changes in the game, but anything that can save you time is can also be considered quality of life. Essentially, this letter can be broken up into four parts. First being a war against the bots, where they talk about the issues that bots have presented, how they're dealing with the issue, some steps they're taking. Second and third part uh, could be part of what I call onboarding. So it's getting new players into the game, addressing content that they would have to do that would be considered long, tedious. Basically trying to catch players up to where everybody else is in the late part of tier three. And in the fourth part, we'll talk about some things that we'll get from KR, such as the Ebony Cube and information regarding future classes. Also bonus point, they acknowledge that the daily activity takes too long, so we're gonna have to wait to see on the roadmap what, what they're actually gonna do to address this. Key takeaways from the War on Bots portion of the letter, they mentioned that 55 billion bot goals removed from the game, 99% decrease in bots interacting with the economy. I, I think this is amazing. Whatever they're doing, it obviously is working. Like we're seeing less bots in the game. Fish prices have skyrocketed because there's no bots fishing. So as a new player coming into the game, if you need gold as a new player, you could just go to a local lake and just start fishing and you'll get a few hundred gold per click, which is insane, insane. No Legion raid can match the gold generation from the mindless activity of fishing. It's kind of boring, but things that people don't want to do is usually what generates you money in MMOs. Now, the second part of the letter, they talk about new players coming in, um, how it's very tedious, how it's very long. They're squishing the progression from four separate steps, which is tier one, tier two, lower part of tier three, and then upper tier three into two tiers. So however they're doing it, you know, as long as it expedites the process, fantastic, good stuff. And the way they're doing this is by bumping up the Guardian first time clear rewards or the tower rewards. Right now, if you actually make an alt, doing tower once combined with a little bit of resources will get you out of that tier. So I can see a similar similar process going in that direction. Also working on making runes, tripods, cards, and gems easier for everyone to collect, which is, which is good. Um, some of the earlier runes, you know, come from islands or achievements that aren't that many players around to help. Um, or you're getting it from sea bounties and probably not, not a lot of people doing the sailing event to actually allow people to get these sea bounties. They also mentioned the deep dive collecting sets. Uh, you have a plan and deep dive six as sets that will be improved in terms of accessibility, which I, I think is amazing. I think, I think these sets are anything that bridges the gap between players that spend a lot of time in the game and new players coming in i think it's amazing as someone who did put in the time and spend the time you know like i did that so i can get the sets that i need earlier you know i don't want to bar people from getting those sets i think that that creates a very terrible experience it creates a fomo like it, it, it's just that's just bad overall imagine if i got light of salvation 30 and then they remove the ability to get light of salvation 30 from the game sure i have it but it's gonna be terrible for new people that also want it you know like that's an extreme example that has not happened but basically i want easier access for everybody and just because i have something doesn't mean that it should be harder for other people to get that that's that's a dick way to think about things right deep dive six car set good stuff and we recently got a shard nerf about 40 or so percent across the board, um, all the way up to 1590. And they're thinking of even more nerfs to the silver and honor shard requirements for early honing. Again, great for alts. 
which is perfect for new players that to set up their roster so they can FOMO like the rest of us, I guess. <laughs> but regardless, it's still good. It's still good. These are good changes. Also, they're thinking about letting players use battle items for free and lower content. Um, I, I think that's amazing. I I think that's a welcome change. Anything to fight the cheapo mentality. I, I think it's terrible when you do a Guardian raid, everyone says a battle item that they're going to use and one person stays quiet. You know, if you're the guy that usually stays quiet, you know, just type something out. Come on, just just make everyone's mind at ease. It, it, it's just, I prefer it if you say something. Like even if you're clearly Pharaoh too, just just say two, please. You know, so that's the first part of the onboarding portion of the letter. The second part is uh, they talk about the raids and how all these one-shot mechanics or how punishing some of these earlier raids are so that they're looking to change Argos to make it so it's not so punishing. So they're, the white mechanics do damage instead of just killing you outright. And the, at the end of that portion, at the very end, they mentioned that they're looking into applying similar changes to Vault and Vikings. I almost missed that part until I watched some of these other streamers talk about it. And I, I also think that's an amazing welcome change because this is old content. We already did it. We did it when it was hard. Let's make it easier for new players. Like, that's fine. So just let them do their thing. Make it easier. We'll get the gold easier and, you know, we'll be on our way. Because you have to understand the lifeblood of an MMO. Not only... Are there existing players you need new players to come into mmos and all all these updates in the letter is pushing towards that direction you're keeping the players here with new content but you also have to incentivize people to stay and stick with it like if if new players are coming in and they're saying the story's too long you kind of have to address that you know if, if they're not even going to reach the end game you there's no point in designing all this end game if they can't even experience it and everyone knows that the best part of lost ark is the end game no um, your first time through the story sure you had a great experience but how many people talk about going through the story you know people want to shift g through rowan before they even tried it we're also getting the ebony cube which is coming up it's supposed to be a faster way to use up your tickets the general consensus is if you have boss rush tickets right now use those um, if you're lacking silver, use your cube tickets. Otherwise, both those tickets will get converted to the ebony tickets. They are faster to do, but you get less rewards from them. So overall, you get less resources, but it should be quicker to do. So if you're starving for the re those resources or you're trying to min-max, then do your tickets now. If you only want the leapstones, then you do your boss rush and you let your cube tickets convert into the new ebony tickets and then you'll get more rewards from that way. And on our fourth point, the content cadence any events. They mentioned that it is important that they're focusing on new players, but also for continuing players. They also want to get the content to us as fast as possible. So this is kind of conflicting against the statement that they released earlier in the year where they wanted to slow down the release. Uh, the feedback definitely reached them. Like we cry, they hear us. And if you know, we it's working so we're gonna keep crying right like, that's just how it is and they want to get us more caught up to the events um classes a key takeaway here is they say that the new classes can be released as soon as possible the continent and legion raids have to be updated in order but the classes don't so they can throw classes at us any way they want they can also release them before the continents come out um there's really no restrictions on that end so copium hopium that we'll get slayer soon and the letter ends with a little gift in all our mailboxes so if you log in you get another makoko skin you get another makoko pet makoko board 100 battle item chests so el cheapos you have no excuse lost Ark 2 is not coming out soon so might as well use them now some silver some fions so that's always welcome and somewhere along the line in all this they mention that they hear us talk complaining about the daily upkeep maintenance activities that you have to do in the game whether that's doing chaos dungeons guardian raids and they're hoping to get into discussion on how to reduce that kr has been complaining about this for a long time i think na something reached them either because na complained loud enough or because kr has been complaining long enough whatever it is they say they hear us, oh, we'll have to see, we'll have to wait until the roadmap. 
So in good old fashioned content creator spirit, here is what I think the roadmap will look like. So we are here in April. All right, so currently we have Brow Hard. So here's the picture of Evident Cube. And I think in June, maybe we get Arrow in July. Think we get anything August. I think it's dead month and then we get I think we get a con around this time between September October I have a hunch I have a hunch that we get Slayer around this time so maybe we get content schedule like that because it'll be four months more than four months between the two major content raids it'll be four months before this content drop which is a small content drop the content drop nonetheless into two months of drought. This is a, what I call a copium, opium 9000. All right, thanks for watching.